official statistics by the UK government put the number of trafficked victims at around 10 to 13,000 people. Unofficial sources say it could be up to 80,000 people trafficked. Where is the truth here? This crime is a hidden crime. These are people that are stuck in the shadows of society. Mm -hmm. And that makes it really difficult to establish exactly how many victims there are in the UK at any one time. It makes it tough for the police to get into communities and find those people and hold the traffickers to account. What we do know, and it's quite clear, is that Britain is a trafficking destination in Europe. Um, how are those people found out, usually? It's, it's a real tough one, because actually spotting a trafficking victim in a community is quite tough. How do you tell the signs? Uh, I mean, people may look forlorn, they may look uh, stressed, they may look worried, but actually is that a sign of trafficking or is it something else? So it's very difficult to detect. So the police and other authorities are relying on reports, and obviously they're relying on their own intelligence as well. But if you look at those figures, that 80,000 prediction uh, for the UK, and the number of people who are are actually found. It's just a few thousand every year. There's, there's clearly a huge gap there. So are those estimates uh, over-enthusiastic or are there tens of thousands of people out there still to be found? And do those figures also include unaccompanied minors, which is becoming a trend with the latest wave of migration? It was only in January this year, actually, that Europol uh, revealed that at least 10,000 unaccompanied uh, child refugees sure. had vanished in Europe during the previous two years. Some of those may well have run to their relatives and to friends, but some of them may well have fallen into the hands of the traffickers, mm -hmm. and that really is a fear. Mm -hmm. And so we can expect, unfortunately, that this uh, trafficking pattern will only increase with the, the wave of, uh, of migrants coming to Europe. I think the, the full impact of the migration crisis on trafficking is yet to be established. Mm -hmm. I mean, this was something that uh, peaked last year, and obviously mm -hmm. people are still moving, that's mm -hmm. still continuing. But some of the figures that I've looked at for last year, I mean, for example, we saw in Britain, in terms of the number of referrals, number of victims or mm -hmm. suspected trafficking mm -hmm. victims, a 275% increase in Iraqis and a 100% increase increase in Afghanis. And also there has been a marked increase in the number of people suspected of being trafficking victims from Sudan and Eritrea. We don't know for sure whether this is actually linked to the migration crisis, mm -hmm. but the fear is that the migration crisis, with more people moving around, more people wanting to go to the UK, that they may well fall into the hands of the traffickers who are clearly waiting there just to move in and make the money that they want to make from this horrendous illegal crime.